Um, let's listen very carefully to what Boogie and Draymond said, because I agree with both of them. First of all, Boogie Cousins is, they don't idolize superstar athletes. They just want us to perform, and, and they don't care about the person. Yeah. yeah, well, no kidding, Boogie, of course. Like, you know, who's a, this dude right here might be a great guy. We're not all coming out to see him sit there and be a great guy. <laughs> right? Am I wrong? No, no? Max, you know, he's so, saying so, we're being used so, like but, laborers. But the, well, but, <laughs> That's right. That's why they get paid. They get paid because we want to watch them play. That's and not then, fair, Max. They're humans, too. That's what he's saying. That's what he's highlighting. You want to debate this with me? I would, because okay. I actually think that's rude. Well, it may be rude, but it is the fact He's pointing it out like his feelings are hurt behind that. But the fact of the matter is there are lots people. of nice people in this audience, but millions of people aren't watching them pay and paying millions of dollars to be nice people. They're not making millions of dollars to perform. He is. His job is to play basketball. That's why there's interest in him. Now, once we're interested in him because he can do that at a very high level, now we want to find out about the person, right? So... Draymond points out that, you know, Canadians are nice people. Mm -hmm. they, they sure seem to be to rude Americans, right? Like Canadians seem to be mm -hmm. very nice people. So really what happened here? This was actually, believe it or not, the ultimate sign of respect for KD. What the fans were really saying, even like nice, kind Canadian fans, and in Jurassic Park, there's a big cheer that went up, right? They, we saw it on the news. What they were saying implicitly before they even thought of KD the person was, we have a chance to win a championship now. It was so obvious when KD was on the court that the Warriors were better. I mean, it was so obvious that Toronto just didn't have enough to beat them with KD. That without KD, all they were reacting to was just a gut reaction. We can win a championship now. That's it. And as soon as they were reminded, wait a minute, there's a human being who just got hurt. You know, the, the, the mollies of the world are upset right now. Yeah. Then, then, then people realize, these same fans realize, oh, wait a minute, right. Even though we're so happy we can win a championship, they chanted KD, which was a much louder chant in the arena than the cheers were at first. It was KD, KD, meaning they acknowledged that he had a lot of heart and they're with him as a person. But their first reaction was, we get to, they were just celebrating yeah. a title, basically. And like Boogie, that's a little trashy. You need to shut the fuck up. I, I don't know that it's trashy. It's just their honest reaction. That they react to them first as a player, second as a human being. But that's why the fans are all in the stands. Not to watch human beings, to watch a game with players. Oh, because some came in the mail today. These nuts. <laughs> Gotti. <he. laughs> Gotti. <he. laughs>